On the installation type screen, we're going to select server. And on the disk partitioning setup screen, rather than automatically partitioning the disk, we're going to select manually partition with disk druid. And here we need to initialize the drive. Okay, now we're on the disk setup screen and we're going to create some partitions. So I'm selecting new and at this point I can select a mount point and create a mount point called boot and this size is fine and these settings are okay. I'm going to create one called root and specify a size for it. name of the partition is here. When we have been creating these partitions, we have left the file system type as ext3. You can choose other file system types here. Now we need to create a swap partition. So we've selected swap here. We didn't need to specify a mount point because we're creating a swap partition. We have 128 megabytes of RAM in this system and we're going to allocate 256 megabytes to the swap partition, which is double the amount of RAM. And so you can see the device names, mount points, the file system types, there's the swap partition and these check marks indicate that these partitions will be formatted. The size and megabytes appears here, and the starting and ending points on the hard disk are here. On the bootloader configuration screen, notice that the bootloader is going to be on HDA5. If I go back here to the previous screen, you can see that HDA5 is the root partition, and we want to assign a password. And on the network configuration screen, you can see the device is ETH0, is the Ethernet network card in the system. It's going to be started when the system boots. Software is going to run to activate the card. And currently it's set up as DHCP. We're going to set this up with an IP address and a net mask. And we're going to specify a host name here and the time zone is set correctly and we're going to specify a password for the root user okay so now we're at the package group selection screen and this allows you to select packages by a group name in this case the group name is X window system and when I click here then details appears over here and I can see the groups of packages that exist for this group name. And for some of them, I can select and deselect them. So I'm going to select some of these items. Notice the total install size here. And when I select this item, the amount of space required increases. to begin the installation. After the installation has been running for a while, you see remaining time and the number of minutes. This screen gives you the opportunity to create a boot disk. In our case, we're not going to create one. Congratulations, the installation is complete.